Okay, hello, good evening, or morning, <laughs> wherever you are. Is there still an echo? Because I, I can still hear an echo from my side. Hey, Clea. Alright, let me continue the music because for some reason it on um, the white browser the music doesn't it doesn't play continuously on like the app so this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Still pretty loud. Okay, hold on. Yeah. <sighs> okay, are you ready for more uh read -throughs? Okay, alright, let's just get this um, started then. Okay. This looks enormous. Did I forget to change my settings from last time? <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, is, is there still a sound echo? Because um, if, if I'm still having trouble, I might try OBS tomorrow and see if that helps. Ah, hold on. Okay, alright, there we go. It's fun? Okay, good, good. I guess it's it, it just from my end that I'm hearing an echo then. Cause I haven't figured how to add the chat box to um OBS, so that's one of the reasons why I'm not using it. <laughs> Wait, pancake? Wait, wh what about pancake? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue on chapter three. So chapter three: gentle and amenable, beautiful and kind. And I already don't know how to pronounce words already. <laughs> it's like it's, and we just started. Oh, she was here. Yeah. There's someone else in, uh, on the on the um, stream. Okay. All right. And to be honest, I have no idea what happened in chapter two. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um. Uh, who's speaking again? Okay, I would try to do a little bit of voice acting if I can. Um, I'm not going to make any promises it's going to work out. Because <laughs> I, I don't do voice acting. So, uh, let's see how this goes. And I'm assuming this is... Oh, no, my, not, the, not the person I'm thinking of. Um, okay, so Yu Yan, what kind of voice should I give him? Yu Yan, Yu Yan. Um... Okay, good, yay! It's good that um, the voice is actually working this time because I was so concerned about the echoes. Okay. Alright, so I guess I don't know how to use OBS because I still haven't figured out how to use that program yet. Okay, alright, so chapter 3. Um, Your name is Xin Chiao, originally a disciple of our cleansing moon sect. Somehow you were injured severely, but luckily I found you while passing by, so I was able to bring you back in time. The enemies who hurt you are from Harmony Sect. Since I was no match for them either, I had to bring you to safety first. You can take revenge on them after you recover and gain your martial skills back. Yushin was talking to Jijibush solemnly, but Shintel listened to him in true 
earnestness as well. In the end, he asked, "Then how should I address you?" Wait, that's Xinqiao speaking. No one. <laughs> that's not the voice for Xinqiao at this point. Uh, my family name is Yu. Is a、uh, Yu. Yeah. Uh, Yu Xinyan. I'm your senior martial brother. This sentence was truly said without conscience. Yu Xinyan was just over twenty this year. Even though Xinqiao's appearance did not give away his age, since he was a disciple of Qi Fengge and had been the head of Mount Xuandu for five years, it was impossible that he would be younger than Yu Xinyan. And of course, if you you guys all know the story, Xinqiao is definitely a lot older.、Um, it was obvious that Yu Xinyan was intentionally exploiting his blindness for an advantage in the form of address. But Xinqiao would、really、greeted him tamely, Senior Marshal. Um, hold on. Um,、uh, how do I do a a weak like a、uh, not not a weak sound, but a um, what's it? What do you call it? <clears throat> Here we go. Um, Xinqiao greeted him tamely. Tamely. Um, senior martial brother. Okay, that didn't work out. You know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna voice act tonight. Xin Xin is speechless. Looking at his innocent face, uh, Xinyan somehow felt a bit a bit guilty. Um, he cringed with a laugh. Be good. Since you can't get up yet, you should stay in bed and rest. After you are fully recovered, I will bring you to pay respects to Master. Softly spoken, <laughs> I try, but I still voice act. <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, Xinqiao responded, alright. He closed his eyes but reopened them soon after. Due to the lack of focus, his eyes appeared a little slack, and the usual brightness within them had vanished as well. Senior Marshal Brother, is there anything else? Mishiyan、uh, believed himself to be someone with a tender heart, for fear, for fair beauties. Oh, okay. Seeing Xinqiao, he said, "Pity to himself once again," and thought. It is indeed a pity that the most glorious leader of all the Tao sects would end up like this. If it was back then when he was in charge of the sect with his martial powers in full bloom, what kind of bearing and de- de- demeanor would he have? I want to drink some water. Don't drink water for now. Your medicine will be ready soon. Right now, you should. Wait. Right now, you need to consider medicine as your water. Oh, speaking of which, I should、uh, prepare water for tonight. So, so hopefully, I can read two chapters without、uh, my voice cracking like last time. <laughs> right after he finished, a servant girl came over with a decoction in her hands. Perhaps it was his faking of Xinqiao's history just now that he had evoked a rare sense of guilt deep deep inside him. Yu Xinyan took the soup bowl, asked the girl to elevate Xinqiao's head with the pillow behind his neck, then fed the con- the concoction the decoction to him spoon by spoon. No lip cup this time. Not all of Xinqiao's bones were broken. But it was not far from it. On top of the injured meridians, his chances of survival were close to none. The good foundation of his health was the sole reason that he—I was not expecting my phone to go off. <laughs> the good foundation of his health was the sole reason that he could wake up within only one month. Now, without at least three or hold on. Now, with without at least three more months in bed, he should not expect to be able to move around. Oh, hey, good, good evening. And also, um, let me um, that was my mom on the call on on the phone. So let me um, text her really quick to tell her that I'm busy and I have to call her um, 
later. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's the ancient time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, all right. Anyways, I'm back. Even even though uh, Yuxian suffered a hard time during practice ever since he became a disciple of Yan, Yan Wushi, since the lifestyle of the demonic sect had always been extravagant, his everyday food and clothing was by no means lower in standard than that of the young masters of noble families. For someone like him to feed decoctions to others with his own hands, no matter how careful he was, there were still occasional spills onto Xinqiao's robe. But Xinqiao drank every spoonful he was fed without any signs of discontent. After he finished drinking, Xinqiao even flashed Liu Xinyan a faint smile and, grat and gratefully said, Thank you, senior, senior marshal brother. Oh. Okay, Haladins are doing my, 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 uh, my spot again. Uh, uh, gentle and amenable, beautiful and kind. Even though it was merely a slight smile, it was enough to bring out a warm color onto his pale face. The seven girl on the side blushed quietly and immediately averted her eyes. Wait, is she shy because because of his smile? Uh, that's kind of what I'm what I'm assuming by the way. Is... Um, he did not ask about anything, which actually made Yushin wonder if he were to wake up with no memories in his head. Lan is seriously injured to the point that he could not even get out of bed. Even if he were to not break down mentally, it would still be impossible for him to stay calm the way Xinqiao was. Why don't you ask me when you will fully recover? Master and senior martial brother must have been running about exhausted both physically and mentally because of me. Xinqiao coughed a few times, pulling the muscles around his wounds, causing his eyebrows to furrow. If I am to ask, won't it add even more grief to you in the master? Your big title. <laughs> uh. I love how when you translate to martial brother, it doesn't indicate like uh, <laughs> you're just a martial brother. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy your fake title while you still have it. Because <laughs> soon you will no longer be the um, the um, Shishiu. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I, I need a drink. As though he had never seen someone so attentive and considerate of others, or maybe it was because Xin Chao's face could easily evoke one's guilt. Yu Xinyan was speechless for a moment, unsure what to say. After a while, he finally said, "Then you should have a good rest. I will leave for today, and that, but no, I will leave for today. But I will come again tomorrow to help you with the treatment." Mm -hmm. Do not a scroll. Thank you, senior marshal brother. 
Please deliver my greetings to Master on my behalf. I will. Suddenly, Yuxian had a feeling that if he was going to stay any longer, it would only increase the awkwardness. Touching his nose a few times, he threw out the sentence and left. Hmm. Water time. In my case, more like tea. <laughs> oh gosh, I still have a lot of this. Um, I bought. Oh, sorry, more. Um, uh, more drinking. Um, I bought like a bunch of tea from. Uh, Adagio teas. And I'm still trying to finish everything, <laughs> cause I really want to uh, try. Um, uh, I want to um try the Genshin Impact inspired tea. It's a little overwhelming, cause there are thirty plus flavors, I think. So it's gonna it's gonna take me a while to um to try every single flavor. <laughs> And I actually forgot what <laughs> I actually forgot what tea I'm drinking right now. I uh what is it again? It's from um the model series, but which one was it again? Um oh the um the land sec the the land um uh, land sec juniors um is what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> At first, he was a little suspicious whether sh what whether um Shinchao's amnesia was merely an act of playing dumb. But since that day, he was he he was said he would visit Shinchao almost daily, and just like the way he was the first time he woke up, he remained gentle, optimistic, and extremely grateful towards Yu Xinyan. Whatever Yu Xinyan said, he believed it all without a single doubt. As innocent and pure as a piece of white paper. <laughs> ah, yeah. I I just love how Shinchao just believes everyone so easily without questioning anything. <laughs> like he's he's like, oh, you're my martial brother. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? You you might you might um string. Sure, I would call you string if I want to. <laughs> right. After he was able to get out of bed and move around a little. Xinqiao even suggested a visit to his <laughs> quotation his master. Yeah, yeah, we should thank him personally. <laughs> and I was just talking about that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I'm drinking Modal tea right now. I think I finished. Oh no, I didn't try every single wine. I think there was wine that was sold out when I bought my tea, so I never. Got the chance to um to actually buy every single flavor, so um, I I guess we will see. <laughs> uh, I think it was the the near uh the the near sect one and the uh, um oh gosh what was it, what's her name, Jiang 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 Yanli. I think those those are the only two that I have been that I I wasn't able to to obtain because they were sold out at at the time of my purchase. Um, if Yu Xinyan did not remind him, Yan Wushu would have already forgotten the presence of Shinqiao. Wait, didn't he or did he forget that Shinqiao existed for three months? <laughs> Within the ten years of his meditation, lots of things had changed in the world. It was not so something that could be summed up by others into a few sentences. There were many sects in the world, and each of them had their own faction and polit political influence back in them. The Gao family of Qi was known for their absurd and unreasonable behavior. Thus, every generation of its emperor tended to affiliate more with the demonic sect. Now it was the generation of Gao Wei, I think. <laughs> Who had a very close relationship with Harmony Sect. Therefore, Harmony Sect's influence in the country of Qi had risen greatly. In the country of Zhou, when Yu Yu Yuan Hu was in charge, 
who was in charge of the court before, he had a respect for for Buddhism even be, um hold on for Buddhism even why well, was keep on saying even uh therefore Zen Master Shuiti was once honored with the position of the Grand Preceptor of Zhou. However, after Yuan Yun ascended to power, the trend changed. This new emperor believed in neither Taoism nor Buddhism. He even banned both schools throughout the country. Therefore, the influence of Bud Buddhism in Zhou right now was much weaker compared to the past. As for the Qin Dynasty in the south, it was headed by the Lin Linchuan uh, Institute of Confucianism. Master in charge Yuan Ke Hui, oh gosh, these names, assisted the Emperor of Qin in governing the country wholeheartedly and was greatly respected and heavily relied upon. Before Yang Wuxi entered, entered meditation, he had been an official in Zhou under a different identity, the assistant in governing of Yue Yun, who was the Duke of Lu at the, at the time. Later, he escaped far away after he was injured in the battle um, with, I still haven't figured out how to say his name, um, sweet, uh, sweet. Tui 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 Yu Wan and oh my gosh I said I'm afraid how to say his name and I just was listening to the audio drama too. So uh Tui Tui Yu Wan I'm gonna just go with that for now. Um but before he left, he ordered his eldest disciple Ben Yame to stay by Yu Wei Yu's side. Now that he had emerged from meditation, surely he would take a trip to the country of Zhou and pay a courtesy call to Yu Wei Yun, who had already ascended the throne as emperor and taken back his power from the hands of Yu Wei Hu. In these years, the northern Zhou had, had strengthened itself step by step, which was not something the other countries were happy to see. Moreover, even the three schools of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism were not on intimate terms with this emperor of Zhou, since he not only banned the, the latter two, but also disallowed the first from setting up pub public teachings to gain followers. Okay, well, he's not big on religion. <laughs> It was exactly this kind of background that allowed the Queen Lin Mu sect to approach and support Yu Wen Yun. Well, at the same time, Yu Wen Yun also needed the the Queen Lin Mu sect to maintain his rule. And I just love how the emperor is relying on a demonic sect for his political influence. I mean, I just find this really, really funny. That's all. Okay. Um, after his meeting with uh, Yu Yong, Yang Wuxi left northern Zhou and paid a visit to Mount Xuandu along the way, and then went to check out Queen Ye, the so-called number one expert of Tu um, Zhuo who had defeated Xin Qiao. Fighting hand to hand with each other for one round, Queen Ye was defeated. The name Yang Wuxi, the demonic sovereign, reappeared. Re Re oh my gosh. Reverberating throughout the entire martial world, world. Oh my gosh, words tonight. Um, everyone was saying that in, in addition to a uh, Tui Tui Yuan, uh, the demonic sect would give birth to another powerful yet dreadful man. Only in this time, without Chi Fungu, there was one less person able to equal him in force. Uh, in Yang Wuxi's opinion, Queen Ye's skills were good and his ta talents were outstanding as well. Yet he was still nowhere near the, the Hulugu in those years. Even when compared with the others on the current list of the top 10, he could not be considered as distinguishable. 
The fact that someone like him could severely in injure the sect leader of Mahashwandu was itself somewhat strange. But this was not the key point of his concerns. What exactly was behind Xin Chao's injury, or whether it had anything to do with Queen Yun? Yan Wuxi had no interest to find out. The only reason that he made huh, the only reason that he made Queen Yan his first target was to spread the news of his re reemergence in the um, Jiaohu. Um, since Queen Yan had just defeated the second leader of Mount Xuandu recently and became the focus of everyone, he was the, he was the optimum choice. More importantly, the biggest gain of Yan Wuxi's journey in this time was neither to make a name of himself nor to defeat Queen Yu, but to find out the, the whereabouts of one of the remaining books of the, the strategy of the Vermilion Young. I'm so not used to calling this because I'm so used to hearing the celebrity as the Dunghua calls this. So this, 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 this. It just feels so weird to call it. Um, <laughs> the strategy of the Vermilion Young. <laughs> okay, anyways. Legend has it that 50 years ago, the grandmaster of that generation, Tao Hun, Hongjin, I'm actually not familiar with this name, so I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, um, entered a mortal on Mount Mall and was handed down a book named The Key to Ascend the Truth. The book consisted of a total of four parts. Ta, Ta Hongjin reorganized three, three of them into an, another book and named it The Secret Key to Ascend the Truth. For the small part that was left out, because the content was, the content was uh, obscure, without mo most of it related to cultivation between man and the heavens, Ta Hongjin organized it into a separate book. Mixing in, mixing in the essence of the, the learnings and understandings of his lifetime. This, this was the well-renowned, the, the strategy of the Vermilion Yon. Tao um, Hongjin delved deeply in, and studied the relationship between man and the heavens. Although a, a Taoist priest himself, he was a true expert in all of the three schools, and was also blessed with all of the learnings of the immortal uh, master uh, Dan Yang Sun, Sun. Oh my God, Sun Sun Yu Yu. <laughs> Sorry, names. Thus, as a man whose martial skills had attained the, the acme of perfection that even Qi Feng would willingly acknowledge defeat against him, he was indeed the number one martial artist beyond dispute. Since it had such an origin, the strategy of the uh, Vermilion Yan naturally became a treasure script that people fell over each other in their eagerness to read. It was said that if one could fully comprehend all of its five books, they would be able to see through the ultimate of martial art martial artists. Since time immemorial it entered a whole new realm that even ascending to the, ascending to heavens would no longer be impossible or pretty much become an immortal. Unfortunately, uh, after Tao, Tao Hongjin ascended to the land of the immortals, uh, the, the Shantin sect of Mount Ma suffered enormously due to its involvement in politics. With the two of its disciples in their own different, um, different standpoint, together with the civil disorder that would lead later sees the the Leon, the, the Leon um, the, the dynasty the five books of the uh, strategy of the vermilion young were scattered everywhere and were unable to be retrieved 
It was not until ten years later when Chi Feng Ke admitted himself that his martial arts, besides the legacy of Mount Xuandu, also included the help from the strategy of the Vermilion, Vermilion Yang, that the whereabouts of the, um, of the scripts were finally discovered one after another. Rumors said that one book was the the uh, rumors said that one book was the treasure of the country of Zhou. One book was owned by Tian Tian Tai Sect uh Yin Zhe Jiang. Oh my gosh, I I heard these names in all your drama, I still can't pronounce them. Um, one book was kept in Mount Xuandu, while the locations of the other two remained in, in mystery over several decades, and were still nowhere to be found till to, to today. Yang Wuxi had the chance to come in contact with the one treasured in the Imperial Palace of Zhou in, in his early years. The substantial increase in his cultivation after the meditation should be partially credited to that one book of the of the strategy of the vermilion Ver Ver Oh my gosh, it's a mouthful. Um, only by experiencing it themselves could one truly understand how ingenious the strategy of the vermilion Yang really was. From the one, the one, hold on. From the one, the whole could be di divined. In the strategy of the vermilion, Yan was embodied the fruit of painstaking efforts of Ta, of Ta, Ta, Ta Hun Jin's entire lifetime. It gathered together the martial arts and meditation ways of all three, I mean, all three schools, complementing and integrating them with each other, therefore was truly comprehensive and flawless. If it was possible to read through the remaining four books, not only was claiming the sovereignty of the martial arts art, art only a matter of time, but even penetrating the ways of heavens and reaching the state of unity between man and the heavens would not be impossible anymore. Oh, okay, long sentence. Let me take another quick drink of ah, tea. And I just realized I can hear the sound of my cup. Um, the purpose of Yen Wushu's trip this time was to... Oh my god, <clears throat> watch. The purpose of Yen Wushu's trip this time was to... Um, sneaking... Sneaking in Mount Shuendu, making use of the opportunity that it was in a, in a state of tumor, tumor, oh my gosh, <laughs> without a leader, to search for the book of the strategy of the Vermilion, Vermilion Young. However, during his fight with Queen Ye, he happened to realize that all of Queen Ye's martial skills succeeded the direct lineage of the Western regions. His inner arts and chi appeared there, yet not his. Hold on, his inner chi. No, no, his inner arts and the chi appeared there, yet not there. It seemed like it was from the same origin as his, leading Yang Wushi to suspect that it was highly probable that the reason Hulugu was able to barely match Chi Feng in power and only lost by half a move in the end was that he had gained help from the strategy of the Vermilion Yang. Deep pouring hands in the ASMR. <sighs> Man, you guys are funny. As one of the new generation experts of Tuju, giving enough time, it would not be impossible for Queen Ye to match in in strength with Hulugu, since the combination of the meditation ways of the Western regions and the Strategy of the Vermilion Yang had brought up one Hulugu, it could definitely bring up a second. Okay, I know I read this chapter like a long time ago, but I forgot like how um descriptive the chapters are. Like I forgot how many how much detail was in in um, each chapter. 
This um okay. This arose a great number of interest in Yang Wuxi. Therefore, in the following days, he followed Queen Ye everywhere and would challenge him to a fight whenever he felt like it. Unable to win over him, yet also uh, having no chance to, to escape, Queen Ye almost had all of his nerves frayed and decided that he might as well return to to Dream End. Yang Wuxi had no plans to chase him all the way to Tuju at the moment, so he literally returned to the spare mansion. Right after he returned, he heard from his disciple that Xin Tiao had awoken and now was able to get out of bed uh, and, and walk around. When Xin Tiao appeared, he had a bamboo cane in his hand. Step by step, he walked. He walked slowly but steadily. So I'm actually wondering, um, because I mean, all of you, all of you guys probably have seen the Dohua already. So in Dohua, um, well, <laughs> yeah, which was just being very dramatic. So he, uh, he actually, <laughs> um, he actually. Made the cane like well I mean not not, not he, he didn't make the cane but he gave the cane to Xin Chao so in the in, so in the uh, of your book Xin Chao just randomly found a gay bamboo cane. So I mean I I know that in the book uh Yang Wuxi was not as well nice but um yeah so Shin Chao just went and found a game to walk uh, to support him. Wait what Yang Wuxi what? <laughs> Yang Yang Wuxi got a perfume back in bed. Wait are you implying something? <laughs> okay are you implying something? Okay, um, a servant girl was supporting him while Sophie so explained to him the different path inside the mansion. My respect to master. <laughs> That's what happened. My respect to master. After the girl showed him the direction, Xin Tiao bowed toward where Yang Wuxi was sitting. Sit. Yang Wuxi put down the weighty piece that he that was in his hand. Oh, by the way, uh, so I'm definitely gonna call it witchy in, in, instead of go because for me witchy is the more correct um, term. And I don't really know where go came from to be honest. Uh, Yuxian, who was sitting across him, looked so m miserable that one could hardly bear the sight of his e expression. But at the same time, he was so joyful as well, I, as if he had just been granted am am amnesty. Of, of, um, of, of, hold on. Obviously, he was currently at a disadvantage in the game. Um, also, a random... Um, Question: How do you keep this chat like on the screen longer? Because it, it keeps on disappearing at the bottom half of my screen. <laughs> it, it kind of bothers me a little bit that it, it doesn't show the entire chat. I guess I would have to play around with the with the settings a little bit more just to see if I can keep the chat like on the screen longer. Well, it's better than OBS where I don't even know how to bring the chat box up. Um, let's see. After he woke up, the memories he had for most more mm, tongue tied. Okay. After he woke up, the memories he had for most of the things appeared to be vague. He could not even remember his own name and where he had come from. As for Yan Wuxi and Yu Xinyan, he had no impression of them at all. How do you, um, okay, okay, a deep voice for you, um, deep, deep. <clears throat> help, um, help, okay, you know what, no, I'm not going to, to try to voice act at all, today. 
Okay. Um. How do you feel? Ask Yan Wu Shi. A better way is if you can think I can voice act. Like if I can be, if I can become a voice actor, the answer is no. I cannot be a voice actor like ever. <sighs> Thank you, Master, for your care. I can get out of bed and walk around already. Just that my hands and legs still feel weak, and my martial arts seems like it hasn't recovered yet. Hand. Xin Chao gave him his hand obediently. Yan Wuxi's fingers immediately pinched his gate of vitality. His gate of vitality point. He inspected the paws for a moment, and a trace of surprise appeared on his formerly inattentive face. Wait, it it is Yan Wuxi, who's um. Yeah, I think that was Yan Wuxi. He um glanced at Xin Chao meaningfully, though the latter, due to his inability to see, had a vacant and innocent look. Yan Wuxi asked, "Do you feel any discomfort?" Xin Chao thought for a moment. Every night at around midnight, my body has alternating sen 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 sensations between cold and hot, accompanied by a pain in my chest. Sometimes to the point that I I can hardly walk. Doctor Doctor Wush. <laughs> Wait a minute. Speaking of Doctor Wush, um, did he memo with you like a social like a um doctor lawyer AU of some sort? Like I'm vaguely uh, uh no huh? Yeah, I think it was AU of uh where uh Xin Chao was the doctor and Yan Shu was the. Don't remember what he was actually. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> um, you, you know, um, you know, Wu Xinyan added, um, I've I've already had the doctor look at it. The doctor said that it was probably because Junior Marshall's brother has been seriously wounded that the process recovery would take some time. Uh, wait. Something bad. What's what's something bad? You mean um, Bimo's AU where um, you know she is something bad? <laughs> oh wait, huh? Don't auto scroll. Um, you should. Sneered faintly at the junior marshal brother that seemed to slip out rather smoothly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was pretty funny. He's like, yeah, hey, I'm the fake, you know, fake junior marshal. Wait, no. Oh, no, junior marshal brother is Xin Chiao, not mine. I, I was going to say something else, but yeah, um, <laughs> the fake marshal brother. Then he he said to Yang, um, Yang Shu, he said to Xin Chiao, your martial arts is not completely ruined. I sense that there is still a faint trace of qi left inside your body, that seems weak yet strong. Given enough time, it might not be impossible for your martial arts to recover. However, our cleansing moon sect does not support good for nothings. I have I have an errand for your senior martial brother to run. You can go with him to assist. Um, wait. Ah, I'll scroll. You can go with him to assist. Um, yes. He did not ask what the errand was about. Just like how he had treated Yu Xian, he agreed with whatever others said. <sighs> Poor Xin Chao, don't just don't, don't agree to everything. For the for the rest of the time, he he just sat there serenely without any excessive movements. Yeah, she tries way to trust him at this point. Um. Yeah. There. There is. There is a slight delay in the messages, but I heard that um YouTube is even worse, so that's the reason why I'm using Twitch. Uh. But Yang Shu was by no means moved by all the in 
indignity that Shinchao was expressing after his fall. The weakness that Shinchao revealed had only caused an even richer malice to be conceived, making him want to ballad and Intent. <laughs> this Snow White from head to toe more than ever. Oh my gosh, I wish. <laughs> you are already being naughty. We just started. <laughs> you can go back and take a rest now, he said plainly. Xinqiao. Um, S. Xinqiao stood up and excused himself docilely. Then slowly left with the assistance of the servant girl. Uh, Ye Wushi retrieved his line of sight from the back of Xinqiao and said to Yu Xinyan, Make a trip to Qi directly and eliminate the entire family of the Grand Master of Remonstrants. Uh, Yan Juin. Uh, yes, uh, Yu Xinyan accepted the order without hesitation. Has he displaced Master Yang Wei? He is a disciple of the Harmony Sect, and also one of the eyes that Harmony Sect has planted in Qi. Uh, Yu Xinyan was also excited after hearing the words, y Yes, the Harmony Sect has been acting arrogant for too long, and the range to issue taking the advantage of, our med of your meditation has caused us much trouble. If we don't teach her a, a, a lesson, won't our cleaning moon sect seem way too useless? I will take off within the, the I will take I will take off within the next couple of, within the next couple of day I mean that is missing order that's why. Pausing for a moment, he held back the smile on, on his face and asked perplexedly Master wants me to bring Xinqiao Wan? He has lost all of his martial arts. I'm afraid that he won't be able to help with anything. With a shadow of a smile, Yang Wushu said, Now that you have called him your junior martial art brother, you should at least show him the world. It's true that his martial arts hasn't recovered yet, but killing one or two people should not be diff um but killing one or two people should not be a difficulty for him still. Uh, Yushin finally under understood. Master was treating Xinqiao like a piece of white paper and wanted him dyed completely black. Even if one day Xinqiao came around to his senses and was able to regain his memories. Since there was no way to undo what he had done before, by the time it would be impossible for him to return to the orthodox side even if he wanted to. And here we are, it's a, probably the main plot of the story. Yan yeah, Wushu tried to taint uh, Shin Chao so he could make, so it to corrupt him. And we all know how that goes, how, how that went. Shin Chao can't be corrupted. <clears throat> Wait, is that, is that the end of the chapter? Okay, cool. How was being like them anything bad? One would handle my matters with no constraints or scruples. Do whatever they please, and was free from all of society's rules. Moreover, Yu Xinyan firmly believed that the nature of man was evil and that a dark side existed deep within everyone. It all came down to whether there was a chance to ex express it or not. All the so-called so -called, so -called, <laughs> all the, all so-called Taoists, Buddh Buddhists, and the Conf Confucian sects spoke profusely of virtue and morality, and how much. And, and how one should always embrace the benevolence, when they were in fact merely covering up their own selfish desires with, the, with righteous causes. Not to mention that when it came to the competition for the throne of the world, the winner took it all. Under such circumstances, was there even a country's ruler whose hands were not covered in blood? And who could claim being cleaner than the others? Yes, I'll make sure to guide Junior Marshall Brother well. Okay. I mean, I know that um um, Moshishu um writes a, a lot of politics in her stories. This is a very real, realistic de depiction of politics. I think this is like well, one of the reasons why I actually like this um novel. Like, I I personally don't like politics in stories, but um, thousand. 
Arnold's or uh, Chen Chu is, I think, I think it's one of the few novels where I actually don't mind the, polit- the politics at all. I mean, where I don't mind the politics at all. Okay, you know what? My voice feels great today, so um, let's see how many chapters I can actually cover tonight. Ascending to Heavens. Yeah, this is a turn meaning to become an immortal. I think a lot. A lot of the terms in, in this chapter are pretty straightforward, so I'm going to um, skip everything unless there's something that's a little bit vague. Alright, so ne- on to the next chapter. And I will try to fix that chat box. <laughs> like, it, it just really annoys me that it, it only shows like two messages and it just eh, and then it disappears. <sighs> Alright, chapter 4. Shin Chao's three views received a 100 point critical hit. So the the direct translation is three views, but I think um you can also say it it's just like um a general a general uh like his general views. Um because I see this term in the chibi ch- ch- episode, like in the um, uh, small theater episodes a lot. So uh, yeah, three views is just um, the d- 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 direct translation of it. <clears throat> uh, Yu did not inform him about the objective of the trip when he brought Xin Chao out. Uh, Fu Ning country was not very far from me. Yeah, city? The capital of the country of Qi. Uh, with Yu Xinyan's speed, he could have made it there with, within three days or so. But taking Xin Chao's condition into cons- consideration, he purposely slowed down and arrived at uh, Yu City in seven days. Um, and also, I kind of want to just, uh, a, um, I just want to talk about Yu Xinyan for a little bit. For someone, for a disciple of the demonic side, uh, sect, he kind of acts like a really nice guy. I mean, both uh, Yuxin and, and uh, Ben Yamei, even though they are um, disciples of the um, demonic side, I feel like they are some of the, ni- um, some of the well, not nice or kind, but I feel like they are more genuine compared to, to all the other characters in the book. <laughs> because he's a baby at heart, yes. He, well, I mean, Yuxian especially, because he's only 20 compared to Bam, who's older. So, yeah, he's definitely a baby at heart. Okay. Um, however, no matter how slowly they traveled, the current state of Xin Chao's body was still inadequate for such a long and arduous journey. Right after they arrived in uh, Ye City, he was stricken ill with a low fever. And I forgot um, how sickly um, Xin Chao was actually in the, in the beginning. So I, I can see in addition to the poison and him being blind, I just never... Um, I didn't expect him to be um, very sis- um, sickly too. Um, okay. Although Cleansing Cl- 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 Moonside had few disciples, it was not short on money and owned a residence in Ye, Ye City, where uh, Yuxian and Xinqiao stayed. The owner of the residence was Yang Wu of course. Therefore, when the servants f- saw Yuxian and Xinqiao, they addressed him as young masters and planned all things well, well taking every care with them. Um, and do, do we ever find out where Yang Shi uh, made, like how he made money? Because he's, he, he, it feels like he's extremely rich to the point where he owns a, a residency in every single city. <laughs> like, how do you make money? <laughs> Besides being uh, an official at um, the Empress Corps, Xin <laughs> uh, um, was very quiet throughout the trip. He would walk whenever uh, Yu Xinyan asked him to do so and stop when told. 
He did not even say anything about him being sick. Rather, Yu Xinyan found out about it himself. When Yu Xinyan asked about it, Xin Chao just smiled. I know the purpose of Senior Marshal Brothers' trip this time was to go on an errand for Masum. Now, with my crippled body, I'm already feeling guilty about not being able to help. How could I be? How could I bother my、uh, Senior Marshal Brother with even more troubles? When he was saying this, these words, his face was cold and pale. Yet there was such, such a gentle smile on it that made him appear quite pitiful but lovely at, at the same time. After all, Yu Xinyan was not Yan Wuxi yet. <laughs> his heart、uh, slightly softened, though it was still something rare for him. And of course, I also answered my question earlier about Yu Xinyan being gentle because he's not Yan Wuxi yet. <laughs> if you feel sick, if you feel sick, um,、uh, sick, just tell me. I'm not an unreasonable person, though we we still need to make sure that we finish the task Master has assigned. Regarding the the thing that Master w- w- wanted us to do, I've already inquired about it. Even though, um. Yan Jun is a disciple of the Harmony Sect. His wife and children know 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 nothing of martial arts. He himself can only be considered a second-rate expert within the sect. On top of that, the Yan oh is that Yan or Yan? I think it's Yan. The Yan family is unguarded. Therefore, I can easily finish it alone. However, since Master has required the elimination of his entire family, I will bring you with me when the time comes. After I kill Yan Yan Jiwen, I will fetch a woman or or child for you to finish off. And that is so freaking cold. <laughs> ah! And it is on the score again. Hold on. Ah!、Uh, oh, okay. Good. I didn't. I didn't. Um. I didn't. On the score. Too much. Too much. Okay, so one thing I do like about、um, running ping without、um, tone is that for someone that that doesn't know names, this is not the same、uh, Yan as in Yan Wu Shi. This is、uh, Yan. I think it's first tone. I think so. Yeah, it's it, it's really confusing when when、uh, when you see ping and and there's no tone. You have no idea what the word is. This was.、Uh, Obviously, the first time that Xin Chao was told about the actual task that Yan Wuxi had assigned, he looked surprised. May I ask, Senior Marshal Brother, what what is the history of the Harmony Sect, and what it, it, and what exactly is our grudge against、uh, Yan Yan Jun?、Uh, Xin Yan、um, recalled that Xin Chao still knew nothing at the moment, so he explained to him. Our cleansing moon sect,、uh, harmony sect, and mir- a mirror of art sect, all or- originally originated from the sun moon sect in the Phoenix Chilling Isle. Later on, the sun moon sect was torn by dissension, di- I think, and、uh, disintegrated, splitting into three in, into the in, into these three sects. Normally, we should unite as one against other forces, since we all share the same root. If it was not for the fact that we all wanted to unify the Holy Sect under our own banners, with the Harmony Sect being the most ambitious one, actually, I don't remember what the Holy Sect is. Um, well, we can check it out. Um, at the end、uh, of this、uh, chapter, with the Harmony Sect being the most ambitious one. Their leaders called Yuan Xiuxiu, and their disciples there are just like her, happy to see, uh, no, happy to use the beauty as a means to achieve their goals. However, their martial skills are good, so you, so um, if you ever run into them in the future, it would be better to to stay away. Uh, Yuan Xiuxiu also has an. A doctor named、uh, Sun Jinxin, who was once a disciple of、uh, this name again,、uh, Tui Tui Yuan. 
the shim shimmer's whore and her scumbag are partners in crime. Ski skimmy here and there all day long. During these past ten years, they even made several attempts to take over our cleansing moon sect, taking advantage of the opportunity with master in meditation. Oh, the whole sect is all the uh, demonic sects combined. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. That's I see. Thank you. Um, Shinjo nodded. But since Yan Yan Jiwen is only a second rate master in Harmony Sect and also serves as an official of Qi, I guess he was. I guess he has never caused troubles to the Clean Clean Moon Sect. Why did Master still decide to kill him? With a faint smile on his face, Yu Xiyan said, "Junior." Marshall brother, after you, you after your injury, you are almost like a little white rabbit now. Yan Yan says it's, it's quite special, as he is an official of Qi. Every no, very few people know that he is, he actually belongs to the Harmony Sect. If we kill him, for, firstly, we could use his death as an example to frighten our enemies. Se secondly. After the Harmony Sect realize realize that we know everything about them, they won't dare they won't dare to act rashly again. Thirdly, they have caused us so much trouble while Master was not here. Now that Master has returned, if we don't teach them a lesson, won't others won't others others think that the Clean the Moon Sect is just an easy pushover? Back then, after a uh, Three one's death. The Clean the Moon sect was originally the most powerful sect among the three, and also the one most likely to unify the Holy Sect. It's just that um, Master was injured later, so he had to escape the world and enter a closed door meditation, thus giving Harmony Sect uh, opportunities to exploit for their benefits. And I promise I will learn to say his name. Well, one of these days I will learn how to say his name. <laughs> what about the Mirror of Art Sect? Have they ever caused us any troubles? In fact, among the, among the three sects, only the Harmony Sect has many hands and is thus more aggressive. The Mirror of Sects, uh, the Mirror of Art Sect, is just like the Clean Moon Sect, with with its disciples. Uh, uh, scattering everywhere, each doing their own task and not task and not gathering together very often. Master informed me. Um, uh, Master informed only me after he came out from my meditation, which was why I hurried over. As for you, he hemmed. Of course, it was because you were injured. Therefore, to sum up, it's true that the three sects do not. Kick Get along with with each other, but Harmony Sect is the only one that has been const constantly stirring up trouble, going in too far w with it. Wait, what's going on? Oh, hey, we do have a, 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 a new joiner. Good evening or good morning, <laughs> I guess to you. Oh, by the way, um, so for my VODs, they would stay up, um, for about fourteen days on Twitter, uh, tw Twitter on uh, on Twitch. So I'm going to uh, download my my uh, my all my previous VODs and I will upload them to YouTube so that um so you can always uh watch them again. So I, I just need to remember to, to do that before my 14 days are up and I will lose my first VOD and that would be um that that would be pretty bad actually. Um okay. Uh Shin Chiao sighed. Every every wrong has has its cause and every and every debt has its debtor. Since Yuan Xiu Chiu is the leader of the Harmony sect, why does not master deal with, with him directly? Even if he turns to uh, Yan Jun, his wife and children don't belong to the martial world. 
So where is the need to get them involved? Uh, Yushin f uh, fiddled a bit with the fringe in front of the bed, not taking his words seriously. Wait, they're, they're in front of the bed? Where, hold on, where are they? <laughs> Since this is Master's order, let's just follow it. What's the point of asking so many questions? If you cut down the grass without pulling up the roots, they will grow back eventually when the next spring spring breeders come. In the same way, if we don't kill Yanjuin's wife and children, should we just wait for them to come for for a rain for a re revenge on us in the future? Um. Oh yeah, and also about this point about killing his wife and children. So based on what I know about China back in back um that year um. Antiquity, it's actually pretty common for, like, um, it's, it's actually pretty common for, for people to eliminate, um, entire, like, um, households. Like, if, if you commit a crime, you are the not, you, you, you are usually not the only person that gets punished. It, it usually means your entire family can actually, uh, get killed off. And that includes your, your, your main, your know, family members and also um, servants, and at least that that's kind of what I um un un understood. So yeah, so back then don't commit crimes. <laughs> if if you want to keep your your family safe, do not commit crimes. And also um to prevent um like your future generations from uh taking revenge, they actually do in eliminate everyone so um yeah hard times he he he, he stood uh, he stood up after finishing those words that's enough anyway this is not a business to hurry there are still a few days left before the seventh meanwhile you should get some good rest after you recover I will find someone to accompany you so you can take a walk around the city. In my opinion, among all capital cities now, the extravagance of your city is nothing less than, than that of Jiankan. Uh, Jiankan. Jian Jian oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, opinion without tones is gibberish to me. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what this, what this is at all. Besides, it's uh, it also gives you a rather g g generous and vast feeling that um, Jian, uh, Jian Khan Jian, mm, does not offer. Overall, it's it's a city that's well worth a look around, especially its red red lantern district. I don't think I need to explain what a red lantern district is. It's pretty much a um. I actually forgot the. English word for it. Um, red light zoom. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot. But yeah, I don't think I need to, to um explain what red lantern is. But I am interested in this. And I just realized I can't. Why is there a um a hyperlink for it? Cause I'm curious to see what this is. And that didn't work out. Huh? I'm trying to figure out with this. Okay, there we go. Oh, never mind. I was trying to figure out how to say this word, but apparently, search did not. Um. I don't know that. I can't read that, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just don't know how to say this um this name correctly. Bro, yeah, Brothel is pretty much what where Red Light District, District is. Um. Uh, Yushinye was only a little over twenty, but he was indeed a, a talented and. And, ro and romantic man, really? <laughs> While keeping his identity a secret, 
he discussed poetry and literature in, in Southern Chen and made friends with famous scholars, uh, which had earned himself quite some reputation as well. Right now, just as he was getting um, in into in into as in, in, um that word okay I know where it is but I can't say where it is so I'm uh, and about to go on Xinqiao's condition suddenly came to mind even if Xinqiao wished he probably would not have the strength for it anyway so he stopped himself short and gave Xinqiao a meaningful smile. Since you have amnesia now and don't remember anything from your past, it, it, it's all right. Anyway, the disciples in our cleaning moon sect are, most, are mostly distinguished and charming men who live a long life. I mean, who, who live a long... Huh, I'm saying that right. Oh, I'm saying that wrong. Um, cleaning moon sect are mostly distinguished and charming men who live a life doing as they please. Okay, there we go. Thus, there will be plenty of opportunities in the future for you to slowly experience it. The identity that Yan Wuxi used for traveling outside with a wealthy businessman with a last name of Xie. So the words written on the wooden plaque about the, res the residence read Xie residence. And I'm not going to say much about this um, last name right now because it's going to be a spoiler. But um, yeah, for everyone else that knows the story, this has a really big um, impact. <laughs> um, Xie Yan was... Um, Often not here, leaving Xin Chiao by, by himself. Xin Chiao treated everyone gently, yet he was suffering from sheltered health at, its, at the same time, making the servants of the mansion unable to restrain themselves from being rather sy sympathetic towards him. Especially those girls who were assigned as Xin Chiao's personal servants. After only a few days, their relationship with him had become much closer already. Telling him in detail of all sorts of scenes and local customs around the Shia residence in order to defer his boredom. Once he started to get better, there were a few times when Xin Chiao would ask him to take him out for a walk while he had time. Uh, yes, it was just like what Yu Xinyan had said. The, the streets were paved with white jade and the roofs were covered with with um virtuous tiles since the golf family of the country of tea were synthesized um uh, shape people oh my gosh i don't know this proper house <laughs> their city walls buildings clothing and customs naturally retained the styles of the ancestors compared to the delicacy and elegance of the south this city had a bit of, a bit more of generosity and promise to it. It was said that even for the for the same kind of wine, the wine sold in taverns of the city would taste more mellow than the wine sold in the city of um, Jiangjiang Jiang Jiang Kong. Ah, this is so weird. I'm so sorry, but but if everyone else that knows how to pronounce it, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering all the city names. <sighs> The extravagant clothing, the beautiful woman, the, the, the luxurious carriages they were sitting in. Though Xin Chiao was unable to witness this with his own eyes, he could still feel the prosperity and splendor of this capital city in the air, with a warm aroma mixed in with it. That filled every street and alley of your city. And I did not, make, I did not mean to make a pause there. <laughs> The servant girl assisted his entry into the medicine shop. He sat down for a rest in the side hall while the girl went in to fill the, the pre prescription. The prescription was written for Xin Chiao. Right now, he was not much different from a pot for herbal medicine um, as he needed to take at least a large bowl of the decoction every day. Even though Yang Wuxi had no intention to help him recover his martial skills, he did. He he did not let Xin Chiao stay half dead either. All the decoctions that he was currently taking were mainly for the purpose of recouping his battle energy, blood, and meridians. Well, 
strengthening his bones and warming his young at the his young at, at, at the same time. Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm I'm pausing because I'm trying. I'm rereading this sentence again. So, Yamashita had no intention to help him to help him recover, but he didn't like Shincho to have dead either. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> you know she's a lot like nicer <laughs> than people um give him credit for honestly. <laughs> As for the current state of Chin Chao, his inner chi was completely empty, without even a single trace left. In addition to the amnesia, he should not expect to gain his martial skills back anytime soon. However, the fact that he was able to move around Simply at the time, at the moment, it was actually the result of this couple months of recuperation. Since the servant girl needed to fill the prescription today, Shin Chao came out alone with her to breathe to breathe some fresh air. However, in spite of being blind and sickly, he still drew much attention merely by sitting there inside the medicine shop. All he has to do is sit there and look pretty. Shin Chao's countenance was pretty in the first place, and then there, there you go. Though it now looked a bit emaciated, his appearance and manner was not the least damaged. With an ordinary bamboo green robe and only a wooden clasp instead of a headpiece securing his hair, he sat there at the leisure. A wooden clasp. I wouldn't clasp, huh? Okay. Cause I, I, I was actually imagining like a like a um, hairpin instead of a clasp, actually. <laughs> um, he sat there at least listening quietly as the servant girl talking to the manager of the medicine shop. A faint smile climbed up the corner of of, of his um, mouth. As as he was not worried that Shin Chao would be recognized when he went outside. Yen yeah, should allow him to appear in public directly, without ordering uh, Yushin to cover up to cover up his face. The reason was that whether it was before or after Shin Chao became the second leader of um, Mount Shandu, he rarely ap appeared outside the mountain. It was said that not even all the disciples of Mount Shandu were able to recognize the new new leader. None of the several disciples who were more well known to the public prior to that day ended up succeeding in the position of the sect leader. Shin Chao, who was still a nobody at the time, did. Perhaps only the already ascended chief of Gun knew the reason behind all of this. And also, this is actually, um, because um, I remember reading from like, one of the Tumblr, it's either, it's either Tumblr or um uh, uh what is it a Twitter post where they said that um the only reason the, the reason why people didn't um, respect Shin Chao is because um he um he he didn't earn his position as a sect leader he it was like kind of given to him and I guess this also confirms the fact that um yeah he didn't exactly uh, earn his position and in general who your your reputation means everything. So um, and I guess this is why that he um that Shin Chao didn't get the respect that he he deserved in his own sect. Um, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, sec sec secondly, on the day that Queen Ye had challenged Shin Chao, the space on Half Step Peak was so limited that it was barely enough for the two of them, and the audience had all gathered on. Um, Regret Peak, d directly across from it. With the distance between them, the others might not be able to remember Shin Chao's appearance well. Not to mention that ever since his serious illness, his complexion was not as great as it was before. But these were all conjectures that Yu Xin had to had to come up with with himself. Privately, he even felt that according to his master's temper, Shin Chao was probably just an impulse. Someone that could be tamed and play with. Well, play with in one way, someone. 
and lay and play with me in wine waste and wine <laughs> um mister the prescription is filled shall we go Shin Chun nodded and the servant girl assisted his walk his walk out when two of them reached the entrance of the, med the medicine shop they heard someone saying this mister is so charming and handsome yet somehow i've never met you before may i have your Honorable name. The voice was not able to recover the surprise within it. The servant girl paused for a second. She chose to realize that it was addressed to him. Uh, my name is uh, Shin Chiao. So it's Mr. Shen. The woman's voice was clear and lovely, pleasing to the ears. Is Mr. Shen a resident of the capital? Or perhaps I should ask which noble family do you come from? The servant girl whispered in Shin Chao's ear. She is um Han Han Oh my god. Um Han Yin, the maiden of the chief servant uh, Han's family. <clears throat> Again, names <laughs> and I heard this name in the in the audio drama too, so I really have no excuse for not knowing how to say it. Uh, the servant, the chief servant Han was not the chief servant of some family, but the palace attendant, attendants of Qi. Um, Han Feng, he was a very illustrious man in the country, with his sons marrying the princesses, while he, along with Mo, uh, Mo Tianpo, and the, well, you know who that is, and the Gao, Gao, uh, wait, what? Go and go. I am. What is this? <laughs> we'll refer to as the three nobles of Qi, together keeping the government under control. As the daughter of the Han family, Han Yin naturally had the right to do whatever she pleased. Shi Chao smiled. I've heard of Lady Han's name since long ago. It's just that my eyes are currently suffering from diseases, so please forgive me for not being able to see Lady Han's elegant demeanor. I would definitely pay a visit to Lady Han's residence someday after I recover. Han Yin had already had had also realized how his eyes had neither brightness nor emotions in them, feeling slightly sorry for it. She thought to herself how pitiful that such a handsome young mister would happen to be blind. Then, with flagging in interest, she said, That's all right. You should take a good rest then. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Xiaolian, go tell the manager to bring over some um, ginseng for Mr. Shen to take along. Charge everything to me. Xin Chao replied, Thank you, Lady uh, Han, for your present. Since it would be impo impolite to not return a favor when one receives, I have something for you as well. Please come kindly accept this small gift of mine. Han Yin's um, interest were slightly arose. Oh, what what is it? Xin Chao said, Ah, Miao, wait. Yeah, I'm going uh, go bring that box in the carriage to me. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Water time. The servant girl hurried off to bring over the box that Shin Chiao had just mentioned. Even though Shin Chiao was blind, the way he spoke was gentle and the style of his conversation was well organized. With a kind of disposition that naturally many people found found of him, even a noble daughter like Han, Han, Han Yin, who would stop handsome men on the street and flirt with them as she pleased, softened her tone unconsciously in front of him. When the servant girl brought back the box, Xin Chao and Han Yin were just finishing the short conversation and bid farewell to, it, to each other. Uh, Han Yin asked for Xin Chao's address. Um, wait, hold on. 
Ask for change was um. Oh yeah, yeah. It it is the same actress that I'm thinking of. Saying that she would visit his residence some other day, then got on her horse and left. Um, after he returned to the Shia residence, Eugenia, hearing about the event, clicked click his tongue in surprise. You have talents indeed. Going out just once, and you get to know someone like Helene. She's the martial niece of George uh, Lin of J Cloud sect, Amon Tai. Her martial skills is just so-so, but she has a good father and a good sect that allows her to bully around the capital city. She just smiled. From what I experienced, she's fine. I wouldn't count it as bullying. Yushinya laughed. She's a beauty indeed, but it's too bad that her personality is simply unbearable. Not even one person in this capital doesn't feel this way. Only you could say that she's fine. <laughs> Shinjiro only smiled but made no reply. Well, Shinjiro has a way to work with the people. I mean, he's he's his Shinjiro, so yeah. <laughs> he's the only only one that can make someone who is unbearable bearable, like Yang Shu, for example. Okay, time wise, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well with time. So, do you guys want to go for an? Well, another chapter? I do not really mean to make the biggest chat sound out loud. Okay, it's Holy Sight and Honor with, with, with Judge Wesson. Oh, okay, yeah, it's um, Holy Sight is the Sun Moon Sect. Uh, how the hell? Okay, let me check the pronunciation. Ugh. Oh, Xian, Xian Bei. Yeah, let me, let me check the pronunciation because it just really, really bothers me that I'm not saying these um proper nouns correctly, and it's going it's going to um. Hey, the lanterns! And also, thank you for, for, for joining me. Okay, um, I feel embarrassed that I can't read Chinese characters as well. Like, I kind of know how to how to pronounce them, but I don't recognize every single word. <laughs> um. Wait, what? Qu quoting what? <laughs> what, what, what? What are we talking in the chat? Oh, Jian, Jian Kong, Jian Kong. That sounds weird. I mean, I'm sorry, but this sounds really, really weird, which is why, which is why when, I sound, when I tried to say it earlier, it doesn't sound right. Jian, Jian Kong, Jian. Okay. Cause it, it it sounds like Jian Kong is in healthy, so that's why that doesn't sound like it's the name of the city. But um yeah um the first word for this is Xian and what's the last word? Xian Bei Xian Bei yeah Xian Bei hmm Xian Bei and uh Jian Jian Kong. Okay, at least we got something right. <laughs> How the hell? Wait, hold on, what? I'm so lost with, with what the chat is talking about right now. <laughs> okay, chapter 5. I think we'll, I, I'll do one more chapter and then we'll probably end the stream for tonight. Oops. Uh, yeah, that, that was me trying to figure out OBS earlier. Oops. Okay, chapter 5. Leaning against the wall, he appeared calm and peaceful with no signs of fear. Uh, 
About three days after the incident, the day came for Yu Xiyan to make to make his move. Since the new year had just passed not not long ago and the Lantern Festival had yet to come, the entirety of Ye City, the capital of Qi, was was enveloped in a jubilant atmosphere. Uh, what time was my Sunday Sunday stream? So it starts in um, basically twelve hours twelve hours from the start of this one. So um, this one, uh, the current one started at nine p.m. So my my Saturday one will start will start at nine a.m. So 12, 12, 12, 12 hours apart. Oh no! Did you you lost your last connection? Well. We we just started on, on a new chapter, so uh, hopefully you, you didn't lose too, uh, you didn't miss too much. <clears throat> uh, Yan Jiwen's official rank was not very high. In fact, the reason that the Harmony Set had put him in this position was probably just to keep an an extra eye on the court. Since his martial skills were only me mediocre, and he left himself unguarded as well, with Yushin's current level skills, the task would be no more difficult than drinking a cup of, a cup of water. N nonetheless, Yushin still brought Xin Chao along with, with him in accordance with Yang Wushu's instructions and told him to wait outside the... the yeah, I, th I think that's the yeah the, the Yan yeah residence. While he himself leaped straight onto the roof, moving towards Yan Jun's study in uh, style. According to the information he had obtained beforehand, despite uh, Yan Jun's second-rate martial skills, he was a rather crafty man. The very reason. He was able to obtain a position for for, for himself in the harmony sect. Um, hold on. I think I paused. Um, I uh, sort of made a pause uh, like in the wrong spot. So yeah, that that's why that sentence didn't sound so right. Um, Yushin's assassination was only an act to warn the opponents. So he had not been so he had not been paying much attention to this person until this point. Only after he entered did he realize that something was not right. The servants were, st were still here, and the guards occasion occasionally patrolled around the outside of the residence. But whether it be in the in the in the study or the bedroom, Yushin could not spot a single trace of uh, Yan Juin. Not only Yan Juin, uh, but even his wife and children seemed to have vanished into thin air as well. Following the elusive and unpredictable style of the Clinton Moon sect, Yushin landed lightly inside the inner residence like a shadow. He, he stopped a servant and hit his mute occupant before the servant could even react, as if this was a dream. And also, I think um, hitting people's acupoint, point. This is more of a wuxia like a uh, trope theme or like whatever you want to call it. Because I think I'm pretty sure this is not something you can do in real life. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is very very common in a lot of uh, wuxia. Um, I was gonna say I from a lot with John, but to be completely honest, I'm I don't watch <laughs> Chinese drama, so no, you know what? I cannot make that claim. So forget I said anything. But yeah, um, but but still, um, um, yeah, hitting someone's acupoint is definitely a very common uh with trope. trope. <clears throat> um. And I should not make it uh, before the servant could even read. Okay, yeah. Where's Yan Juin? The servant's eyes widened. He, he started to panic as he discovered that this, hands, this handsome young man could bring him under control with nothing but a finger. But he was unable to make a sound. Um, 
Yuxian smiled, smiled at him. I will not kill you if you tell me where uh, Yan Zhuan and, and, and his family went. Alternatively, I can kill every single person inside this residence, regardless of you of you calling for help. Do, do, you, do you understand? Frightened out of his senses, the servant nodded repeated, repeatedly. Um, Yu Xinyan suddenly losing his grip, then unlocked the servant's mute acupon. The servant Im immediately replied, The mistress and the young masters left two, two days ago. Master said that he was sending them to stay at their spare mansion by the hot springs for a while. Yu Xinyan um, Yushin sneered. Even if his family is not around, don't tell me that Yan Juan has left out together with them. The court meeting will be held tomorrow. Tomorrow is is he not coming back? And I think the court meeting here is the um, the, the the daily morning court um, meeting, meetings at at the palace. <clears throat> um, the seven stammered. Kind of like me, what I'm doing right now. Uh, when Master left, he didn't tell us. He didn't tell us the details, so we don't. So we don't don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, that, 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 that's what they mean by um, stammering. He lost the patience to to listen any further and knocked him out directly with his palm. Then he found the butler of the Yan, Yan residence and threatened him for the whereabouts of the Yan family. But the, but the answer he got was ex exactly the same. Yu Xinyan was not st stupid. By this time, he realized that uh, Yan Juwen had probably already been informed beforehand that he was coming to kill him. But this command was given by Yan Wushu. Besides him, the only person who knew about it was Xin Qiao. Even the butler of the Xie residence was not aware of it. It was up. It was up. It was obviously impossible for Yu Xinyan to have walked around talking about it thereby blurting out this piece of this piece of news himself. An ice cold murderous intent spread across his, his mind. At first, he wanted to simply crush the the, the, the larynx of the butler. After giving it a second thought, however, killing a servant was mean, meaningless at, at this point, since he had already failed to eliminate the entire. Yan family. Instead, it could end up alerting their enemies and open themselves up for ridicule from the harmony sect. He knocked out the butler as well, turned around and left the, the Yan residence. Boiling with anger, he went to find Xin Chao, who was still waiting for him in the alley next to the residence. Um. Okay, so I guess this is different from Tenghua because um. I guess um, Xin Chiao actually never went to the residence with him. Uh, and I also want to say something about the Dunhua. Even though they made changes, I actually don't feel like it that they made that uh, it was changed for the worse. It may not be uh, for the better either, but actually, I feel like. Uh, honestly, I don't mind the changes at all. <laughs> um, he wait. He he was there. Did you mean at the um, residence or at the pharmacy? Uh. Anyways, uh, I think I got confused by by this paragraph. Because I um it, it just sounded like um Xin Chao did, didn't follow uh Yu Xin Yang to the res residence to 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 eliminate um his family so that's why I got I got really confused. Uh, but anyways, um uh, la la la. Okay, here we go. It was you who conveyed the message to Yan Juin. Um, Xin Chao nodded without any hesitation or denial. You're right. Eugenian hated him for ruining his plan. The faint, careless smile that was usually on his face had faded long ago, replaced with a cold expression filled with killing intent. Why? Shin Chao sighed, 
Xin Chao said, I know there have been grudges between the Harmony sect and us, and since Yan Wu Shi belongs to the Harmony sect, I don't have a say if, if Master wants to kill him. But what kill does a child have? If the purpose is to kill Yan Juan, what's the point in, in involving his wife and children? Yu Xin Yan replied coldly, Whether to kill his family is not for you to, to decide. The only thing I want to know is how you how, how you managed to deliver a message to Yan Juan as a blind man with a feeble body when you can't even tell directions once you are outside. Xin Chao answered, you once said that Yan Juan was a crafty man whose suspicion could be easily aroused by the tiniest detail that didn't seem right. There was Angelica Root, or, um, oh gosh, what was that again? I actually don't remember <laughs> what the actual name of this um, uh, herb is, uh, but I think it means something like to a term. Yes, protect the children. I mean, the, the children did nothing wrong. Um, there was Angelica Ruti in my prescription, so I, so I managed to keep some of it. At first, I was going to find an opportunity, uh, opportunity to deliver it to the young residents. But since I happened to run into Harim that very day in front of the medicine shop, I decided to put what I wanted to give uh, Yang Juan into the box and asked her to send it to me, using a return gift as an excuse. She just thought that, well, she just thought I was an acquaintance of uh, Yang Juan and thus didn't ask anything else. I assumed that Yang Juan, after receiving the medical order from me, probably realized that something was not right and therefore relocated all, all of his family beforehand. Yushin was extremely angry, to the point where it came out as a laugh. I really underestimated you. I didn't expect you to be such a capable, a capable man. He reached out and took Xin Chao by the throat, gradually tightening his grip. You've ruined the mission given by a master. Do you know what the consequences will be? And also, should we start a, uh, a choking counter? <laughs> Because um, Xin Chao was choked, what, three times in the Doha? I kind of wonder how many times he got choked in the novel. <laughs> um, yeah. Xin Chao was completely powerless, uh, powerless uh, against him. As it became difficult for him to breathe, his complexion slowly turned ill, his chest heaving so rapidly that all he was able to stammer out was a disjointed sentence. Actually, I'm not a disciple of the clan the moon sex, right? Yu Xinyan was caught off guard and re released his hand. Xin Chao immediately propped himself up against the wall and, and started coughing. How did you find out? Hold on. What did the church say? Oh, I'm telling you, she's not going to be <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, we, we can start the counter as, at, at one. <laughs> Xin Chao replied calmly, Feelings, even though I have lost my memories, my basic judgment is still there. Whether it, it is master or senior martial brother, the way you treated me didn't feel, didn't feel like the attitude one would have towards their disciple or martial brother. Same for the servants at the spare mansion before. Everyone was so cautious for fear of giving away something that they should not disclose. I have lost all my martial arts and am nothing but an impediment to others. Ah, go away, Steve. <laughs> Yet, Master. In, in, in instant on um, sending me to assist you. Also, I was injured so severely that it had not it had already damaged the prestige of our sect. And yet all this time no one breathed a single word on the subject, even if it was due to my own incompetence. All of these are just unreasonable. 
Seeing that the other person did not respond, he continued, Actually, the method I used could hardly be considered brilliant, since I was only able to get past the servant girls in the Shia residence. Were you not completely looking down on the uh, on Yan Juin and had sent at least one person to keep track of him beforehand, he would not have been able to run away even if he wanted to. Xin Chao big brains. Yeah, he's actually pretty smart. Uh, like for, for someone who's sheltered um, on, on Mount Shendu, he's actually pretty smart. Uh, Xin Yan replied, that's right. Yan Juin, it was nothing to me. And it's true that I paid no attention to him, which provided you with, with this opportunity to seize. But do you know what the consequences would be if Master ever found out about it? You saved a few strangers who had nothing to do with you, and they didn't even know that you were the very reason they could escape death. Even if they didn't know, they still might not be grateful for you. Do you think th this is w worth it? Xin Chao shook his head. Whether it's worth it or not, everyone has their own standard. The injustice has its cause, and the debt ha ha has its debtor. Involving innocent people was not something to be praised. There are some people in some things that if I did not say, save them or take action, despite having the, the, the ability to do so, would cause guilt to haunt me for the, for the rest of my life. As for whether others know about it or whether they are grateful for it, that's their business. Vishia had never seen the past Xin Chang before. Neither did he know what he was like before getting injured. Ever since he woke up, Xin Chiu had spent about 9 out of 10 days lying on the bed, appearing sickly all day long. Except for, the, except for the face of his, there was absolutely nothing of Xin Chiu's that was worthy enough for, the, for others to take, to take note of. Even though Xin had never spoken any harsh words, he probably despised Xin Chao deep inside, inside his heart as well, as he felt that Xin Chao was indeed too incompetent to have ended up in, in, a, in a situation like this, despite being a Dao sect, a uh, leader with positive, positive prospects. So yeah, people just didn't respect Xin Chao at all. Um, <laughs> yet, at this moment, he was leaning against the wall, his countenance appeared calm and peaceful, with no signs of fear, meekly revealing the bearings of the former great grandmaster. Yu Xinyan sneered, You are unable to even fend for yourself. How come you still have the time to care about other people's lives or death? If you really embrace so much benevolence and kindness in your heart, why do you think about how it was. Oh, excuse me. Why don't you think about how it was us who saved you that day, when you lost all of your martial arts and were thrown to the, bo 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 to the bottom of the cliff? Your corpse would have otherwise been left exposed in the wilderness long ago, and this is how you repay us? Xin Chao sighed. I shall return the kindness of saving my life with all that I can do, but these two things are not related. Yu Xinyan frowned slightly. slightly. At first, this seemed to him, um, at first, this seemed to him a job that could not possibly be easier. Wait, what? At first, this seemed to him a job. Okay, a job that could not possibly be easier. However, Xin Chao did not follow his ex expectations at all, and even managed to secretly send messages to Yan Juin under his very nose, despite having amnesia. If the news was passed back was passed back. His master would deem him incompetent as well, unable to finish even a trivial task like this. Mm. Since Xin Chao's status was special, he could not kill him. His only choice would probably to bring him back for master to deal with. As if he had sensed his mood, Xin Chao even tried to comfort him instead. Don't worry, I will explain everything to the site master so it won't implicate you. 
Uh, yeah. You shouldn't reply sourly. You should worry about yourself first. Shin Chao gave him a smile. Then he suddenly asked, Since your brother uh, Yu, since I'm not a disciple of the cleaning sect, may I ask if Shin Chao is if Shin Chao is indeed my real name? Yu Xinyan was silent for a moment. It's real. Shin Chao asked again, then who was then who was I before I was injured? Is, is anyone from my family uh, still alive? Yu Xinyan replied, You can ask Master you can ask Master yourself when we go back. But they were not able to meet Yang Shi after they returned. Not long after they took off for, for Yang City, Yang Shi left the spare mansion as well. It was said that he had gone to the country of Zhou. Did Master leave any messages before he left? Yu Xinyan asked the butler of the spare mansion. The butler replied, Master intended for you to return to the, to the bottom half set P to practice. As for Mr. Shen, uh, Master said that if everything went well during the trip, he could, he could continue to stay here to recuperate. If, if Mr. Shin had spoiled anything in India City and brought you any troubles, then he would need to leave here by, by himself and would not be allowed to take anything w with him. Yushinya was a little surprised. It is really what Master in instructed. The, but the butler gave him a, a bitter smile. How would a lonely one like me dare to fake it? At first, uh, Yushinya was worried about how to account for what had happened when they came back, but the, but the murder un unexpectedly came to an end in such an anticlimactic way. Well, it really definitely was anticlimactic. Uh, anti uh, anti there we go. He thought for a moment, then called Xin Chao over and told him about the message that Yang Wushu had left. Xin Chao's reaction was quite calm. After after all, I did bring you troubles and cause your failure to complete the task. Um, second master assigned. The way the second master handled it can even be counted as lenient already. And of course, Xin Chao is already forgiven over Yang Wushu at this point. A normal person? I mean, I wouldn't. To be completely honest, I would not. <laughs> I would not forgive him for anything. Um, uh, Yang Wushu knew his master well enough to realize that leniency had definitely nothing to do with this reception from Yang Wushu. He probably had other plans. Um, and also uh, in the audio drama, I think they they try to um, they, they try to have uh, Yang Wushu like they, they, they try to give him more. Roles so that he would appear in the other drama more. So in the other drama, Yang Wushu was actually there himself to tell Shin Chiu that hey, since you have ruined my plans, you are no you're no longer a, a disciple of um um Huang Yue side. So so you can leave, but you can but you can't take anything with him. So basically, so yeah, so basically, uh, in the other drama, they tried to um give. Yang you Wushu know, like a, a bigger role because in the in the novel I think he disappears quite a lot and he disappears for a long period of time. <clears throat> okay. Um uh, Xin Chao is blind. And this in this S words. Uh Xin Chao is blind and the situation outside was was chaotic in our days. Anything could happen out there if he and it, and it ended up being abducted by human traffickers, and people found out that the sect leader of Mount Xuandu had ended up becoming an abductee one day. Mount Xuandu would probably be left with no face to lose. By that time, how would it still have the nerve to establish itself in the um, Jianghu anymore? Mm-hmm. Even though the way that Yu Xian had handled matters was not as reckless and willful as that of, that of his master, it was still impossible for him to disobey his master's will just for Xin Xiao. If this was the case, then you should leave tomorrow morning. From here, there is your city. 
Um, who's speaking again? It, 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 it is this uh, Yushiya speaking? If this was the case, then you should leave tomorrow morning. From here, there is a city in the north northeastern direction, and and southern chain to the southwest. If you want to go to Jian Jian then you will head to then you will need to head southwest, and it's going to be a long journey too. You have been to Ye City already. In spite of its extravagance, disorder arises there fre frequently, and there are also a lot of refugee refugees along the way. Hence, if you want to live a peaceful and and, and steady life, Southern Chain would be a, a better choice. Okay, I'm I'm actually not quite familiar familiar with the pol the politics at this point, so I really don't know. I don't remember what chain is, <laughs> like what, what part of the country I'm. Um, I don't remember if that, if that's a uh, like a um, country, a district, or something. Um, Xinqiao nodded, then cupped his hand. Thank you for telling me, Brother Yu. I want to ask for a favor. I hope you could please. If I, w I hope you could please tell me my identity and origins so that I will have a place to go to. Yushinye replied indifferently. With things as such, telling you won't matter anymore. Originally, you were the set leader of the purple mansion of Xuandu on, ma on Mount Xuandu. During a battle with the number one expert in Tujue, Kuinye, you fell off the cliff and was saved by master. But I advise you to not go back to it. Um, on. But I advise you to not go back and claim relations with them in a hurry. Up to now, I've never heard anything about Mashuan Du sending people out there in, in such view. Mount Xuan Du Xinqiao for his eyebrows and repeated with a hum with a uh, mumble. A vacant expression appeared on his face. Eugene Snared. It's true that our cleansing moon sect is a demonic sect in the eyes of the public, but we are, but we are, but we are honest villains. <laughs> we're honest villains. If we want to kill, then we kill in a way, and we'll make no qualms about telling it. Unlike some of the orthodox sects, whose deeds could not be more different to their claims. However, it's up to you if you want to listen to my advice or not. If you end up losing your life, don't blame me for not warning you beforehand. And that's one of the one one of the things that I love about um the um the Huan Yu sect. Like they are clearly like well, I wouldn't use the word of villains per se, but um they're definitely not nice people. But at least they're being honest. <laughs> like. If they want to kill someone, they will kill it without like hiding their um I I their intentions. <laughs> yeah, Shinchil fell into silence. Early the, the next morning, the servants woke him up and kindly asked him to leave the, the mansion. Besides a green bamboo stick, he had, he had nothing valuable on him, not to mention money. There was not even a bite of rations. Yeah, so when Nehushi said that he wasn't allowed to bring anything, he actually meant you're not allowed to bring anything. <laughs> yeah, Yushin um, obviously did not leave him any leeway, truly intending to let Xinqiao live or perish on, on his own in the outside world. The morning sun bathed me in warmth along with the smell of spring, not making him uncomfortable at all. He squinted his eyes. Then shaded them with his hands. In fact, he was now gradually able to perceive a certain amount of light from the outside, despite it still being a blur, making his eyes prick and even causing him to tear up after a minute. It was still better than being greeted by nothing but pitch black dark darkness after after opening his eyes. 
Chantilla turned around and glanced at the spare mansion. Even though the cleansing moon sex had not had not had the best of intentions since the very beginning, it could not be denied that they did in fact take him under their shelter and offer him doc doctors and medicines. These were, these were benefits that could not be s simply wiped away. If he could meet Yan Wuxia again someday, he would like to thank him in person still. And of course, Xin Chao being a pure hearted person, he, <laughs> realistic speaking, he's probably really the only person that would actually thank someone like Yan Wuxia. <laughs> like, hey, you, you know what, since you're not, you're, you know about um, your identity, you can leave now. <laughs> so, yeah, poor Xin Chao. And how did they expect him to, to survive out there with, without food <laughs> or any food? Rations, money, anything. But anyway, okay, anyways. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot how to say that. Um, I need to see the pinyin again because I keep on pronouncing this word incorrectly. So let me check out how to say it. Um, how to say it correctly? Because it's a uh, Done something. Pee 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 pee. Don't oh, don't greet don't 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 greet um which is what um the name of the root is which means um to return. Um, characters, yeah, it's it, it interpreted as show return. So, um, so yeah, um, they use medicine, um, as like a way to to send specific messages because a, a, a lot a lot of times the, the um the the words can have a, a separate meaning. So um, so this so this is so this is actually a pretty common practice back then. Okay, anyway, so I think that will be the end of this um, stream, and um, I will continue to read um, two to three more chapters tomorrow. I think I will just see how everything goes. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that it went pretty well tonight. Uh, I was able to read so many, because the, the last time I did the stream, I think I, I did one chapter, and for the second one, I, my voice was cracking at, um, by then, so I was like, I don't know if I can finish another chapter, <laughs> so so I'm, I'm actually really happy that um that it, it worked out pretty well tonight, and also, thank you so much for staying all the way from the start to now, and so yeah, this means so much to me, so thank you everyone. And I promise one of these days I will I will um be able to play background music. So um um the music I was playing earlier before the stream started that was from the author drama o o OST. So I hope I can actually find a way to play the music continuously because um I'm playing from the browser and um. After the song ends, it stops. Like it would not continue to the next one. I don't know why, but so I will try to figure out a way to uh, to play the entire OST, and uh, hopefully we'll have background music and not just me talking. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So, anyways. Um. Thank you again. Um. Thank you, everyone, for, for, for being here tonight, and I will see you guys all tomorrow morning, or tomorrow night, depending on where you are in the world already. Um, so yeah, so I will, um, I will end, end the stream, and um, have a great day, everyone. Alright, bye-bye.